<laughs> it's always great to see our friend Travis Burke, a price cutter, and we're having the best time. Maddie and I are singing, and Travis is running around the uh, Yeah, album. it's just chaos. I mean, I'm what's happening? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bringing around it. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So, Trav, A, good to see you. Yeah, you guys Hope well. you're having a great yes. summer so far. So far. So far, and so good. It's a lot of great. Seems like. Don't say that. Don't <laughs> say that. that. Please. Yeah. We haven't even started. Uh, <laughs> what have you brought for us today? It looks like a lot of good samples of some great food. It is. It's just like a uh, start to Father's Day weekend's coming. And uh huh. After that, we got the 4th of July coming. So, some grilling items, some fun stuff. If you're taking to the lake or having friends over or what have you. Uh -huh. Or if you just want to eat it yourself. Or if you just want to eat it on a <laughs> yeah, random you know. uh, Thursday. Uh, yeah. It's you might little. want to. So we can start down there, Jeremy, on your end, with the seafood options. Now, we all know that it's important to have seafood at least twice a week. Thank so you. <laughs> it's taking us about a I year. did my homework, Trev. Yeah. <laughs> so this week, offerings up with uh, Seabest two pound swai fillets. And if you're not familiar with that, it's very uh, similar to, uh, I don't know if you go to like Fly Creek or somewhere where you get fish and chips sometimes or fish. Yeah. That's what they use. Is that we what? used we the swai that swai. you left that one time. Mm -hmm. When did we make, what did we make with that? I don't know, no, you, but we made fish grilled some. We grilled some too, yeah. and it was so good. So that, yeah, that's why filet is really good. It's like an ocean catfish, so if okay. you never try to give it a try, it's really it's good so stuff. good. And then beside that, with a shrimp option this week, the Easy Pill 3140, um, those are raw. Mm -hmm. They've been split, so all you have to do is really just cook them, and the shell will pop off. When oh, you're is that this one? With those there. Okay. Yeah, with the sea best. That's good to know, because I never know sometimes if they're pre-cooked, I overcook them sometimes on accident. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you get a, if you get a cooked option, a cooked one, then you just want a few... It doesn't take yeah. much, a couple minutes, and it's okay. done, so it doesn't get rubbery. And in okay. front of that, we're offering up, it is coming in frozen, and we're slacking them out, but grouper fillets. Mm. Grouper. That's something you don't see a lot of times, so if you want to try something different, this week would be the time to try it. It's a mild fish, similar to kind of like tilapia. Oh, okay. Smaller fillet. Um, good fish, oh. though. Okay. Yeah, you'd really enjoy it. Um, uh, and then a little further with some other frozen options, El Monterey, we're offering up some of those this week. I know it's it's summertime. Yeah. Uh, kids are at home. They need things to do. You could, there's several different flavors. I just brought a couple of our of our favorite ones today. But um, mm -hmm. Trav, I used to live on these. I was gonna say good. we were just talking about burritos and chimichangas yeah. at the start of the show. Oh, so yeah. perfect. Very good timing. I read the future. You so did. yeah, kids at home this summer, you know, air fryer, oven, whatever you have, they got some lunch options for that. Yeah. Same with the Bar S uh, smoked sausage. There's uh, four, three varieties of that. I just brought a couple. Oh. But if you're just wanting to throw those on the grill, if the kids need snacks, whatever you have there, do that. And, and that was part of our hot dog eating contest, Bar S. Yes. Bar S. Yeah, that we yeah. loved. Yeah. We did. And it's known as America's favorite. So. Oh, well, well, there and we it go. finished like right there in the middle, right? Yeah. Middle pack. Yeah, so I think so. We, we like that. Uh, with some chicken options, boneless, skinless chicken tenders, those there in the front. Oh, oh nice. Love and that. then boneless thighs. have gone through the work of taking the skin and the bone out of those, so it's just boneless thighs. Okay. I enjoy. Those look so tender. I enjoy I the thighs say, myself. This would be yeah. nice to have. And the, oh, there we go. The ba yeah. the, I like to take tenders and bacon wrap them and just put them on the smoker. <gasps> Or you can uh, in the oven. Can you invite us over for lunch or yep. dinner? Maybe sure all can. of them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we and then have with a Foxy and Party at the Brooks house. Yeah, seriously. We can, <laughs> we can do it. Um, and then with, with the boneless sides, I like to take those and marinate them in like a Korean barbecue sauce. Oh. And then put them on a skewer and you cook them that way. Yep. Similar when yes, you go please. to Chinese restaurants, you get that stuff on a stick. Yeah. You can yep. go that. And it's also another option if you like dark meat. It's already, okay. works already okay. done. Yep. Tyson uh, offering up with whole chickens this week. So there's many things you could do with that. You could Same. split it and do half chickens. Okay. You could uh, part it out and get drum thighs, breast, mm -hmm. backbone, all those things, wings. You could do that route, or you could just cook it like that if you wanted to, a roasted chicken or. Now, how would you do that if you don't have like the whole rotisserie oven? Um, usually there's a stand, so you could do a few things. You could set it on top of a pop can or something. Okay. And it would stand in the in the okay. oven. Okay. Um, or there's little racks that you could put those on, like a little steam uh -huh. pots where you could put the water or beer, or soda, or whatever you do to cook that with inside there, and then it will just boil and steam and, okay. and marinate the meat at the same time so you get a that. unique flavor at the same Yeah. So those options there. And then I brought again the uh, Prairie Fresh signature items. These are marinated pork loins. All you simply have to do is take those out of the package See, and throw them in the oven. These, so, just quickly so the camera yep, can you're see fine. those. There we go. Yep. Ooh, Cajun style. We were also talking about Cajun. Yeah, Cajun. Oh, I love Cajun. Ca there's, they have several flavors. Um, the Applewood's one of my favorites. Then there's some tenderloin options too, like honey sriracha, uh, teriyaki, oh, there we go. and a garlic and herb. They're all pretty good. I enjoy all those. I like the ones that are pre flavored because mm -hmm. it takes the work out of it for you. Right. And it's, it's something that you, if you, Want to try a new flavor? There's other options, so you can never go wrong with any of the Same. options of flavors. That and so have. much easier to cut, Trav, since you taught us how to do it yeah. on the show. See there? Much learn, easier. We learn stuff on yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then all down with National Beef with, with uh, Black Canyon. London broils this week, so if you uh, want to do jerky, 
oh. things like that. This would be the week you could get a London, they could cut it for you, or you could, or you could do it for stir fry or or um, stew me, any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. it's perfect. So for good. That. And then with uh, petite sirloins, we don't see those a lot, but they are in the ad this week. Um, they're a good steak. They're good, like medium well. Okay. So that's, that's how I prefer those. Yeah. Marinade, those are good. T bone steaks. Oh. Everybody loves a good T bone. Absolutely. And of course, with that, you would get the strip on one side and the tenderloin on the other. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to go on the porterhouse side, you would get an even bigger tenderloin. It'd be like dinner for two. Oh, nice. It'd be like a his and hers. Yeah. If you want to go that route. Ground round, offering that up this week. So spaghetti, tacos, burgers. Yep. Sounds so weird, but chili. No, yeah. Yeah. Oh, why? Those on burger, you know, on hot dogs and stuff like that. So chili dogs. Chili dogs. I love them. Or chili fries. That's Ooh. chili fries. And then uh, bone-in sirloin chops. It's another one you don't see a lot of times. Really good on the grill. They tend to plump up pretty, pretty good. There, we have a lot of flavor, a lot of moisture. So. Oh, that's nice. If you never tried them, give them a try because they really are good. You'd be surprised. I love doing that. that. And then Bob Evans uh, family packs, they're um, in the ad this week as well with the mashed potatoes and the uh, macaroni and cheese. Okay, so they had the best side dishes. I, I agree. Say, and their mac and cheese. Mm, it's good. To die for. You have to good stuff. So work's done. All you have to do is cook it the way you want it. Right? And then well, did stuff. you bring some of And these then I brought a few items these? from the bakery. So we they do in in-house hamburger buns and hot dog buns or brat buns. So if mm -hmm. you wanted to grab those, I think they're better. I think they have a lot more. Uh, I was going to say, just t better taste. There's just something different about it. It is, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yep, so if you see those, grab those too, and you could get them with hot dogs or brats or whatever yeah, you want yeah, this year. All the things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you have not checked out the bakery that coincides with the beef, I'm like, you need to, because there's a lot of things there that they make fresh that mm -hmm. you could get in the bread aisle, but go to the bakery aisle and then get all the great stuff and then support the local bakery as well. Absolutely. I, I surprised him with a cake last week, and just waiting for the cake to get decorated, I was looking at the whole thing they have, mm -hmm. the array of uh, sweets, and I was just oh, like, yeah. I want it all, I want it all. <laughs> Yeah, I, that's great. They have a beautiful baguettes and they have breadsticks. I mean, like so much it's, more than oh, just a cake. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah, all the more cookies they make, yeah. and yeah. Pet, pet so all that more. stuff. Yep, it's good absolutely. Stuff. Well, Trav, thanks so much. Hey, can you stick around the second hour and cook with us? Oh, sure. There we yep. go. Yep. Sure awesome. Nice. <laughs> all right, you guys. Jeremy is on the job. Let's see where he's at and what he's building right after this. <laughs> well, it's a lot. I'm on the job. It's a lot of stuff. Okay. Busy. <laughs>